Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Art of Noise. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So I kind of figured that um, I wanted to expand a little bit as far as the type of guitars that I've been working on. I really haven't been doing too many basses and I really haven't been doing too many left-handed guitars. Uh, looking online, a lot of lefty guitars aren't selling as much at all. Um, so bass it was. So right here, this is supposed to be a brand new bass, but it has a problem with it. And no, it's not a real high fret that I'm going to use a wrong radius block on to correct the problem. But uh, it's supposed to be brand new. It's got an issue with it. So I got it like really, really cheap. Let's get into it. So I really like the way they bubble wrap this. This is kind of cool. Um, I've never seen this before, but uh, they did a beautiful job. Fragility. And yes, I am a tell you. So let's get into this thing. All right, so here she is. Fender. Let's see if there's anything inside here first. No, that's empty. That is empty. So let's pull her out of the bag. It's kind of nice because the zipper has got little guitar picks for handles. All right, so what we've got here is a Squire Jaguar bass. This thing is Oh, this thing's pretty heavy. Detuned, which is nice. Uh, this is supposed to be brand new. And it looks like it's brand new. Shit. It's really nice. Brand new as being like, uh, I don't know if it was a floor model. Open, open box. That's what it was. And there's an electronic issue with it. So I figured, you know what? That is one hell of an easy fix, at least for me. So this would be like an easy flip. Still has the plastic. Still has the plastic on here. Peel it off. It also has a battery. Now why does it look like a rechargeable battery? Oh, just a regular 9 volt. So I believe this has actually a lot of dust on it. So this was floor model. So I believe this has like an active equalizer inside of it. Truss rods on the top. No issues. Nothing marked second on this thing. It's actually very, very nice. I like the neck. The neck is really, really smooth. They Instead of doing a finish on it, they kind of just did a matte finish. But it is a Squire. It is nice. And it's got some weight to it. I got this for almost next to nothing. Because it's got an electronic issue, but that is nothing for me to fix. Frets are in really good shape. There is not one sharp fret on this thing, and I'm really holding on to it and pushing on it. Probably has a plastic nut. Check that out a little bit. Actually, no. Maybe not. No, it's got a bone nut. It does not have a plastic nut. Did a nice job with it though, too. I mean, really, this thing is like. If it didn't have an electrical problem, it probably would have been a lot more. I'm not crazy about this type of a burst, sunburst, I guess you want to call it. I'm not crazy about them. That's why you never see me have any guitars that have this type of a burst on it. But, yeah. So, this looks like it's going to be fun to get off. I don't know, I started to peel off. Yeah, so, I'll peel the rest of that off later. Yeah. Jaguar Bass by Squire. 
active pickup system inside of it, probably an active EQ, not a pickup. So we'll find out what's going on with this thing, fix it, and flip it. See you later.